If it's your first time to come across this channel, please support this channel by clicking the subscribe button. By the way, don't forget to click the notification bell because you'll always be updated whenever I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, for the new subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. In today's video, I want to answer people are asking about what you call the three months contract. Yes. Earlier on, we've been talking about jobs opportunities for Qatar 2022. And what I have to let you know right now, that for those people that did not get the opportunity to come, oh, you might have got the employment visa, but the company will not be able to send you the visa. It is now off. You cannot get a ticket right now. Because now the country is in the latest preparation. Remember, we have almost 32 days to the FIFA World Cup Qatar 22. We should be starting on November 20th with the opening match, which will be Ecuador and the national team Qatar at that time. I think that we should have only one match at Arabayet Stadium. Yes, we are looking at a three month contract. Yes, there are people who got the contract. There are people who got the opportunity. And in history, or what we talk about in the job opportunities or in the job history actually is these are kind of contracts where people were given double the salary that people who are physical or people who are full employees are getting. What am I trying to mean? Yes, for people who got the three months contract in Qatar for the FIFA World Cup jobs, the three months contract or six months contract, you'll agree with me, the salary is even double what the normal employee who, can, who is only two years visa is earning. What does it mean? Yes, you got that contract, which is three months. You got that contract, which is six months. For the FIFA World Cup Strictly Project, yes, you signed a contract for it. And that contract, it has a probation period, which most of you, you've seen on your contract, which is the probation period of one month. What do you expect? The question is that, what are you going to stay after the World Cup or you'll have to exit the country? That is a question that people have been asking so much. So I need to let you know and streamline to you what the truth and what you need to know. I know some of you are going to be get, you're going to be getting hungry, but it's not all about getting hungry. It's all about knowing the truth and you plan in advance. And this is exactly what makes Creation TV would want you to know. What does it be like or what is going to be like? Yes. The three months contract, you'll have to exit after your contract. Remember, when you go back to read the terms and conditions in your offer letter or in your contract, the probation period is one month. Meaning that your employer has will provide for you a ticket to and for your country. So what does it mean? What advice would I give you a person who's already on that contract of six months or three months? First of all, if you're working for that company, show that, show that company that you are a variable employee or you can be of an added advantage to that company by performing your duties to the maximum. If you want to be retained by that company, because remember, if that company does not retain you, you'll have to exit the country. That means your contract will have ended with that country, with that company. That is us the contract with you for only, contracted you for only three months or six months. So after that period, you'll have to exit. As when we look at the higher card holders, or when you look at people who are coming to watch the matches, that on 23rd of January, everyone will be getting out of the country. Because the matches will be done and the gross period that will be given for you, the allowance to stay in the country, will be done. So meaning that even with the person who's holding the three months contract, six month contract, on the 23rd of January, you'll be exiting the country as according to the law. But how have you prepared yourself to handle yourself in the situation that you can either stay or get another big opportunity in this country? And that is what I want to share with you. How do you do it? Yes, most of you have now come into the country. I think most of you have worked like two months or uh, which if, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, brother, that golden opportunity that you have in your off, try to look for a company that can give you job after this three or six month contract. Because remember, short of that, you will have to exit the country. Move out, move the CV, move to these companies, move to these companies. Even live alone, That even the company that you are working with, show this company that you can be an added 
advantage or you can be you can be of a great asset to this company such that they can be able to either renew your contract to a two years work contract or to get for you a new visa or promise you a new visa when you exit that they will call you back in the country yes do not think about running away and hiding and absconding, riding that I'll hide, I'll go somewhere, hide. They will hunt you. They already have the information with you. And remember, every single time you get to overstay in this country, it's a penalty. Remember, the laws that govern the World Cup funds will also govern you as the employee who came on what you call the three months or six month contract. And when you get, you will not be punishable by the law and the fines will be applicable to you. So the best option that you have, it is to look for the company that can give you a job over or to look for the company that can sponsor you. You either exit that company, give you a new visa to come back in the country. Because by that time, the country will be relieved of the stress of the tournament and it will be very easier to get a new opportunity and have it at that class. Then you can come into the country and cheer up and start up a new job. Still, something that I would advise you, the money or what you are earning right now, if it is for three months or for the six months, and let's say, for example, you are earning 3000 yes, save part of what you have for you to get another recruitment agency that will have another opportunity for you to come back in Qatar. Because even the recruitment agencies to bring you back, they will definitely need what you call commission. And you will not just go and say, I worked in Qatar without commission. Definitely will be left out. So that will be my humble advice. But don't think of, my brother and sister, don't think that I'll be hiding. They will not get me. Remember, when they get you hiding or, upstay, or overstaying the country, then it's going to be another penalty in one way or the other. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. It's next from the next question. See you again in another video.